One of the OpenAI co-founders, who is Ilya Seskiver, has announced that he is resigning from OpenAI. As one of the original, I think, 11 co-founders of the company, this is kind of a big deal, and it's kind of interesting. So we're going to break down everything that's happening, what he's up to next, and why this all happened in the podcast today. So the big thing that I think a lot of people are talking about is the fact that this isn't super surprising. Last year, there was all of the you know drama where Sam Altman essentially got voted out of OpenAI, voted out as the CEO by the board, and apparently Ilya was kind of a big part of that. He he voted along with that. Some people say he might have been like kind of pushing for it to happen, and all of this because he was in charge of AI safety and alignment, pretty much making sure that the AI model was aligned with humanity and making sure, you know, this thing wasn't going to turn on us. And some people speculate, although it's really been glossed over and no one's talking about it, that, you know, there's a meme that's like, what did Ilya see? And it, it's like, people retweet that on like X all the time. They're like, what did Ilya see? Ilya, tell us what you saw. Because, you know, they're saying he saw that OpenAI's tech was like too powerful and it was going to be bad for humanity. And then he was like, we got to stop it. And Sam Altman said no. And then they got in a tiff and then it got him kicked out and Sam Altman came back. Okay, that's the drama that a lot of people assume, but we don't know. And in any case, he's kind of been out of the spotlight ever since Sam got back. People were like unsure what's going to happen to him. He's got him kicked out. He wasn't really talked about much. He wasn't in any big announcements. And so now it looks like he has been removed from the company, or I guess he's resigning, not removed. Sorry. So an interesting thing is uh, he posted recently on X about all of this, and this is what he said. He said, after almost a decade, I've made the decision to leave OpenAI. The company's trajectory has been nothing short of miraculous, and I'm confident that OpenAI will build AGI that is both safe and beneficial under the leadership of Sam, Miri Mirati, Greg Brockman, and now under the excellent research leadership of Jacob Pachowski. So Pachowski, Pachowski. I'm so sorry about the pronunciation. In any case, this is going to be the new head of research leadership. He said, it was an honor and a privilege to have worked together and I'll miss everyone dearly so long and thank you for everything. I'm excited for what comes next, a project that is very personal, meaningful to me and which I will share details in due time. Okay, so he's got another project. He's not telling us what it is. So people are kind of like, oh my gosh, what is it? I'm also like, I half wonder if he like doesn't know, but is just saying that so that when he makes an announcement, it's like, this is my secret thing I've been working on. Most likely he knows what he's working on next. Um, a lot of people are making a memes when he said so long and thanks for everything. <laughs> people are sharing, they're sharing the meme of from Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy when all the dolphins are leaving and all the fish are jumping and they say like, so long, thanks for all the fish. <laughs> That's really funny. We have, of course, Sam Altman, who gave a, a note to the whole, to everyone over at OpenAI and, and introducing their new director of research, Jacob. And anyways, this is the note that Sam said on all of this. He said, Ilya and OpenAI are going to part ways. This is very sad for me. Ilya is easily one of the greatest minds of our generation, a guiding light of our field and a dear friend. His brilliance and vision are well known. His warmth and compassion are less well known, but no less important. OpenAI would not be what it is without him, although he has something personally meaningful he is going to go work on. I am forever grateful for what he did here and committed to finishing the mission we started together. I'm happy that for so long I got to be close to such genuinely remarkable genius and someone so focused on getting to the best future for humanity. Jacob is going to be our new chief scientist, Jacob, is also easily one of the greatest minds of our generation. I'm thrilled that he's taking the baton here. He has run many of our most important projects, and I'm very confident he will lead us to make rapid and safe progress towards our mission of ensuring that AGI benefits everyone. So I think this is really interesting. Obviously, we have kind of the passing of the baton. This happens in every company. Like, you know, it almost happened to the CEO, Sam Altman, earlier, and then, you know, he got brought back. But like, it's interesting because companies just have like turnover of people. And sometimes, especially when it's the co-founders, this can feel like, you know, huge and, and devastating. But obviously, the mission of OpenAI hasn't changed and they're kind of pushing forward on that. So this is kind of the message that I feel like I'm seeing from Sam Altman and also from Ilya, both of them when they're, you know, talking about all of this. Um, I think this is definitely, some people are saying this is kind of abrupt. This is happening right on the heels of GPT-4.0, the big announcement that OpenAI made where they have like vision embedded into GPT and the video and the 
So essentially you can do video calls with chat GPT and it can be seen everything and talking to you and also like really robust new voice models. So they have all these new features coming out, all this new stuff. I and mean, he stuck around long enough to be able to be there for those big announcements and now is announcing that he's departing. Maybe some people thought that it would have been bad timing if he had kind of announced his departure before those. So they wanted to get these big updates out, I think, before he did that. I think this is really interesting. Everything that's happening right now, a lot of people on X are posting saying that they're excited for whatever he's doing next. And all in all, I think this is going to be, you know, it's, it's always exciting to see these bright, brilliant minds from OpenAI spinning off and creating new things. So I'm all for it. And I understand why this is essentially happening. If you enjoyed the episode today, if you learned anything new, I would really, really appreciate it. If you subscribe over on YouTube, or if you drop us a comment, give us a review on Apple or our Spotify podcasts. Hope that you have an amazing rest of your day and I'll catch you next time.